morning, good morning. Uh, today I'm making some breakfast and uh, we have eggs cooking here. Um, the hubby does not like the eggs raw. He likes these egg yolks cooked and I like it raw. So I'm going to have to split this in half and we can have half of it cooked and I'll have the other half that the egg yolks is sunny side up. Yeah. Hope everyone's doing great. See, I like mine like this, sunny side up. So for me, my eggs are done. And this, he likes it cooked. Good morning, you guys. Hope you guys are doing great out there. Mm -hmm. Gonna make some breakfast for us. I am off today. Make some fruit. So we have watermelon, have papaya, and cantaloupe. And coconut, frozen coconut. I'm gonna shred this up or grind it and uh, put it on top of the papaya. have some eggs and toast and let me cut this up. Good watermelon. Can eat for breakfast. I love cantaloupe. I remember at one point in time, I um, I was a flight attendant for American Eagle, and I needed to go on a diet, like a really strict diet. Um, we would not hire, they went by weight, and uh, so I decided to do that. I went on a cantaloupe diet, and um, they, I happened to lose like the pounds that I needed to get hired. So um, it really works, you guys, eating cantaloupe. And it's so healthy. You know, it helps move your bowels. So that's why it's like, so I, I think, what I think, um, that's why it's so expensive. It's because it's so healthy. So after we eat, then we get, get going with our day. frozen coconut and I'm using a coffee grinder to grind it. This coffee grinder works really good. This 
is like about two tablespoons of coconut. This is a simple breakfast before we get our day started. Um, so we have, um, Ben likes his cocoa. He usually likes his ginger tea, but we ran out. So we have cocoa. Uh, he has his scrambled eggs. Yeah. Toast. Morning, guys. I have my over easy. And uh, we have uh, watermelon and cantaloupe. We have papaya here with coconut, shredded coconut on top. Um, I have my smoothie. And um, we have some of the, like a guy from yesterday. Right here, it needs to be stirred because all the caramel fell to the bottom. Go ahead. Masturan Amen. It's a Fijian prayer. Video of Bura Binaka to the Tongans, Malolele, and to the Samoans, Talofalava. And uh, um, the Tahitians, Yorana. Melanie is good for Otai. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whatever's left, we'll make Otai out of it. <laughs> Velikuta. <laughs> or very, very kutu. Very kuta. Or very kuta. <laughs> the, the first time I, I, I learned how to, to speak Tongan was the uh, first time I, I speak uh, Tongan uh, words was it was all the swear words. I, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> that was in Fiji. We came from Hong Kong to Fiji for the international service and I met I met uh, my one of my best friends. He's my best friend. Mm -hmm. He was a captain of a Tongan national team. His name is Saya Haviri. They call they call him Fava. He's, he's in Tongan. He's in Tongan. So there was a Samoan guy, Samoan guy, a uh, Tongan guy played for Samoa. His name was, uh, his name is uh, Malakai. I for, I don't know, I forgot uh, his uh, surname. And, they, and these Tongan boys used to tease him. So Saya told me to, to say a word to him. <laughs> it was a swear word. <laughs> and just to say, t tell him, like, hello. <laughs> but it's a swear word. <laughs> but I didn't, <laughs> I didn't know it's a swear word. So everyone was laughing when I say, <laughs> when I say it Malakai because Malakai was a Tongan playing for Samoa. And that's how they teach me these boys, these Tongan boys. Was one, uh, rugby. Yeah, yeah, rugby guys. Yeah, that's. That was back in the days. Mm -hmm. That's how I speak tongue. That's how I learned how to speak tongue. So everywhere we went, the series we played in Japan, France, and France, came over to Hong Kong for the Hong Kong Sevens. They always come into my room, take all my stuff. 
<laughs> yeah, that's why when I end up in Tonga, I played for Saya Havili, Saya Fravas uh, uh, team. That's where I stayed in Sopo. So I played in how to and learn how to speak Tonga. This speaks really good Tongan. Better than me. And when I went to Tonga, uh, I was, um, yeah, when I went, when I went to Tonga, and I learned how to. It's easy. It's like to me. It's it's uh, it's like speaking Cantonese. <laughs> <laughs> The watermelon is so juicy. Have you tasted papaya, uh, shredded coconut on papaya? It's really delicious, the combination of that. Very delicious. Got to give it a try if you haven't tried it. <laughs> mm. In Tonga, we mostly eat papaya with the coconut, mm. shredded coconut. Maniocetunu, what you call maniocetunu. Oh. Yeah. Cassava, you just. <clears throat> what is maniocetunu? You know tunu? Mm -hmm. And what is the meaning of tunu in Palani? Mm. In English? Well, tunu means barbecue. <laughs> You just take your cassava and put it in the fire. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <man. laughs> and uh, it's like putting putting your cassava and burn it, uh, put it in the fire and burn. Uh, we we do this cassava thing, it's, which we call the manioc. Manioc is cassava and tongue. And cassava is in Fiji, it's tapioca. Tapioca is tapioca, tapioca. Eh? Yeah. yeah, they say yeah, uh, some people know cassava is tapioca. Yeah. Tapioca. So they make it into a tapioca starch. Yeah, that's the cassava, that's yeah. the tapioca. Yeah. Yeah, I like manioke tama. It's like a guy. And I like mm. Have you tried eating cantaloupe with an uh, egg? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, hey, I'm gonna this show is a you. Polynesian breakfast. <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys. <laughs> Okay. He's supposed to eat it with the bread, but my favorite is I like I love fruits. Mm. I love eating fruits. Me too. There's another way of eating fruits. Is the easiest way is make it as a smoothie. <laughs> yeah. We don't have to chew it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. This is my Put everything, I mean. put all your your favorite fruits in the blender. <laughs> blender and just blend it. Mm. Yeah. That's what I think is best to me. But if 
but it tastes, tastes different when we eat it, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you taste the full flavor of the fruit. And here it's blended, gives you a different flavor when it's blended. She knows, she knows I don't like butter, but she's still, like this. I like this one, but not now. Mm -hmm. That papaya was so good. The reason why it's lighter, a uh, lighter color, hun, is because I put the lemon in it. Just, I ate it last night. What did you find? Uh, well, it yeah, the cocoa has sugar in it already. Mm. I'm full guys and mm. done. <laughs> I don't eat much. He doesn't. <laughs> he doesn't eat much. Hey you guys on your fika guy, the lolo. If you don't want it so light like this, it turns light. Don't put so much of the don't squeeze out the lemon. Just let the whole lemon sit in there to give it an even balanced flavor. But don't squeeze it out like I did because my Lolo turned a lighter color. Still delicious though. It gives you a little tart. It's a topai, pakatai topai. What is what is if in Palang in Indonesia? Isn't that a I know I'm trying to think what it is. Oh it's chestnut, right? Okay, you Tongans out there, um you guys know what Ifi is. What does it mean or in Fiji. English? Ifi, Ifi in Fiji. Naive. Or Fijians. Ifi. If you know what's the meaning. <laughs> what the meaning yeah, so, of Ifi so, in English, comment below. Ifi in Tonga is uh, like strength or something. Ifi, Ifi. Uh, mm. It's like it's like you have so much so much, so much uh, power. Power, or something. Yeah, if it's a fruit. It's a yeah from a tree. I That's what, what that is. But in Tonga, it's ifi. Ifi in Fiji, ifi in Tonga. Mm. Yeah, in Fiji, they <coughs> they making the. They make ifi, they shred the ifi. And do they barbecue it? No, they shred it raw. Mm -hmm. they, they cut the, they cut out the, the shell. And then the, the inside part is 
Sweetie style EP, yeah, right? Yeah. We shred it. They shred it. Oh, really? New. Yeah. They tap tap with new and make it like a pudding. And they cook it like a pudding. And yeah, it's delicious. Yeah, we came in and kind of my witty. In Bulabinaka, Kere, Dona Kere, 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 we came in. Ke ni kila na na waka wawa lagi ni ivi ni vosa na ivi au kire moni ngai mbuta tiku maya na nomi i comment na moni ngai comment mese bola mevi kira au si na sarangan ni kila si la si la si la na na alda na wawa wawa lagi na na ya na na i kire moni vosi tiao au kere kere tiwa ni kumi ni naka na wale na wale bunifu ni nda u sarah wa chipo mai na channel na youtube channel ni nungu leni wale wale bunifu na wake kumi ni na nungu ni nda u vito koni na wale bunifu ni nda u rolo ni nda u bola bola tu ngamai wa viti nungu shule chipo vile ya nungu leni wale na comment ni ni tu kuna mai kani bola mai nungu Thank <laughs> you. YouTube channel ni nangu mbuleo ni wali Nibabu ni nabu ni wali uweke mni Minaka Ni... Malo That's a Fijian language That's what I was talking about It's a Bowen language I was... That was Bowen? That was Bowen Wow It's different from my own language Wow And you learned Bowen how? I grew up when I was in was I was a child. No, oh, you just learn from it. your parents. Yeah, we 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 learn it in uh, in school. From class one, kindergarten, goes up. But you also learn it from from people you 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 meet, you you live with. They speak just like Tommy. Yeah, right? it's our language to us. I think in Fiji is. Uh, it's automatically known, but I think, because mm. you speak it uh, every day. Mm. And also your own language, like me, I speak my own language every day with my family. Mm. And uh, some, some, some people know my language too. Most, most of the people, it's not my language. Now, does every island in your Sawa speak your language, your dialect? No, it's only part. But it can be, it can change from, from a, from a, from a subject to a, like a, let's say, it, it can change, it can vary. It's like, no, it's, it changes a little bit. It's uh, <coughs> like, like this. If the further the distance is from the, like my, my, my village, right? My island. My island is uh, seven, seven, seven or eight villages. Seven, I think it's seven. Naviti. Yeah, it's in one island. Apart uh, uh, that island, another island next to that island is it's different. Really? It's a little bit different. Yeah. The dialect is yeah, different. Yeah, yeah. Island. After that island, it's, it's the same, but it's a little bit different. Some yeah, mm. like Naviti and Waya are different. Um, you can, wow. it's nearly the same, but it's, it's a little bit different. See, so okay, and the, <clears throat> the next village, my island, Naviti and Anketa, is the same. I think it's the same, but it's a little bit different. And Angeta and Matawale the same goes on Abdullah, 
goes up uh, to the top as our tamsua. It's, it's it's different. So from the Maya, it's different and comes to Lautoka, uh, main island. They use bowen most of the time. Wow. That's really interesting. How everybody has a different uh, dialect. It's hundred different languages. Wow. So, so in one sentence you can like could mean something else. Yeah. That's uh, that's that is mm. that is how that's how Fiji. It's in Tonga. Tonga has two different like, like Fiji, like Fiji. Uh, Niwa, Niwa has different. Yeah, it's mixed Fijian, Samoan. Oh, Fijian too. Yeah, I heard. Oh. And even the Tongan language, some Fijian languages there. Yeah. In Tonga? In Tonga. Mm. Because of the, because, like, uh, pronounce a word start with F. When you st I say a word start with F, in Fiji it starts with V. Oh. Like, Vale, in Fiji you say Vale. Well, what That's about Fiji? Language. Would that be Fiji? Huh? The B. <laughs> Fiji is a Palangi word. Yeah? Fiji is a Palangi word. I didn't know that. Fiji, but in in Fijian, uh -huh. the, the word Fiji is Viti. Oh. F. It's V. V. Viti. Oh. That is good to know. Nobody Fiji knows is that. A, Fiji is an English Except English Fijian. <laughs> It's a British language, I may say. Oh, because Fiji was, um, the British was over Fiji, yeah. right? That's what I think. I think it's. Or I think I'm right. I think I'm right. That it's makes a, it's sense. a British. Viti baka Viti Levu. Why do they say that? Viti Levu is an island. Big Fiji, yeah. right? Oh. That's so interesting. So we just learned a lot about Fiji. So thank you. Thank you You're for okay. sharing that little history about you know, Fiji. <laughs> I think I, I think I'm right. I'm totally right with this mm -hmm. because because uh, Fiji is not a Fiji is not a Fijian language. No, um, it's a word. It's a, uh, f uh, I'm, I'm sorry. It's not a Fijian uh, word. It's a, it's a, it's an, it's an English word, British, because mm. Fiji was colonized by Fiji, by the British. <coughs> and I think if if if, uh, if Fiji wasn't in, independent, Fiji would be so much better this time. <laughs> but still the best, is still better. Yeah. It's gone to really really good, huh? Yeah, it's, With it's Rambuka. Good. Yeah, it's good now. I heard the Rambuka is a prime minister. I've seen it in the Facebook and see he he is he, I think humble. He's, he's humble because I think when because people hate him because he 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 does this two coup and um, the coup yeah he was a he's, I, he's the first one that that. Um, it uh, took a military coup. That's a Fijian, the first Fijian coup happened in Fiji was done by him. Rambuka? Yeah. So did he change? He, I, I heard, I heard that he apologized to oh. the Fijian people what he had done, and I think he did a, uh, he did bad at that time. He was. I don't know. Only God knows. I don't want to judge anyone. I don't mm -hmm. want to say. I may I may be wrong, but only God only God knows. Yeah. 
for the betterment of uh, betterness of Fiji. I think it's getting better now because <clears throat> I was uh, during uh, Bani Marama's uh, prime minister in Fiji. I wasn't in Fiji. Either. I was I was not in Fiji, and I heard people are saying that his his uh, administration and stuff like that sucks and they said that uh, there were there were there was no freedom of speech and stuff like that and now when i see the thing when i saw the news and the post on facebook that they are i think people are right because they are the ones that feel everything no. yeah feels and know every day struggle they face every day I think they are right. Mm -hmm. They are free and yeah. <clears throat> well, awesome. Well, thank you so much for sharing. Um, and even some, even some friends, my friends, some friends, they they say that yeah, some some Tongan people here in in, in Texas said, "Oh, Fiji is better now. Fiji is so it's yeah." I, I think they are right. People feel. Feel the, feel the, the freedom, the freedom and stuff like that. In even I saw that uh, post about uh, that uh, uh, woman from the journalist from uh, New Zealand. That woman, uh, Barbara, yeah, Dr 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 yeah, Barbara, uh -huh. yeah, Barbara, and yeah, he was she was the one that been like targeted by Bani Marama and stuff oh. like that. And now she's free, she's back in Fiji, uh, the election, and uh, and now we can see that, you know, it's freedom. I see the, I see Fiji is really free because, you know, the media was like so treated poorly by the Fijian government of Panimarama, Panimarama government. You don't have to criticize, you are not allowed to cri criticize oh, everything. Wow. Now Ram Rambuka is so open. He's scene. very transparent. <laughs> He's having interviews with everyone. Everyone. <laughs> it doesn't matter how small the journal is. And I saw that. And I saw that the one post. You know the speaker. Mm -hmm. He he went to this place Sabu Sabu or where, and this Indian lady sitting on her lap and that they were having a good. <laughs> they were like laughing and they they yeah they took a picture of them and that's how. Fiji is supposed to be, you know, you put a, all the, the prime minister, the speaker, like so humble and man, if Ban Marama and Kayum can even do that. Mm -hmm. They are so free. I think, I think Fiji is now in a good place. Yeah, but the only thing is we have to, we have to thank God for, yeah, yeah it's all God. God yeah. is walking, it walks in mysterious way. God is great. He is amazing. Mm. Yeah. He answers prayers. Yeah, there's, there's still some followers of the Fiji First. It's understandable. They, I think they... Yeah, because they yeah, believe. They do good mm. things. But uh, but in, a, in another mm. side of the stuff, it's, they may be like so strict. They, because you can see, you can see a government like just buying votes by doing that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, you guys, gosh, we have gone way over our time, but um, we enjoyed this time with you guys. I was supposed to. I was supposed to go and do this side hustle. It's a <laughs> idea. It is a few side hustle to go but i'm still having my breakfast here with you guys mm -hmm. we totally uh, are enjoying so yeah we are enjoying uh, our time with you guys stories and uh, a little bit of gossip <laughs> 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 yes. hearsay all hearsay yeah. <laughs> all right you guys hope you guys have a great day um start your day with a grateful heart we feel so blessed and thank you so much for your support for our channel. 
Um, if you have not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe below and give us a like. It'll really help uh, our channel here. And um, Ben will be starting his own work channel soon. So please look out for that and support him on that. Hope you guys have a great day. Stay blessed. And we'll see you on the next video.